All right, so let's uh, let's go back and uh, recap what we did. So welcome back, everybody. It is the third, uh, the second of October. So yesterday. Uh, you know, I put a tweet, Facebook, everything out there regarding about shorting all these <laughs> online brokers. And the funny part is that we couldn't even we couldn't even figure out what was the news, what was the news. And you know what? This morning I get I get a, a an email from my TD Ameritrade account. And guys, what is the news? What is basically the news? Anybody know what the news with the online brokers were? Schwab was the leading contender of it. The no commissions. No commissions. Wow. So guess what? They're going from $5 a commission, $4.95, to zero. Okay. Now, the next question is, how in the hell do they make money? Well, there you go. That is the question everybody should be calling up their online brokers and be like, I don't understand. Why are you working for free? OK, you know, what's going to be next. They're going to start paying you money uh, to open an account because they're just basically floating. Right. They're holding capital. They're floating money. They're lending it out. So that's basically what they're looking to do. So you get to trade with them for free and basically have all this money and capital. And that's really what, what it was. And, and you know what? I was actually pitching that. I would say like 10 years ago, 15, I'm like, why even charge any commission? You know what you guys do with the money. There's no, you don't make money on commissions. You use that money to lend it out for credit card, for capital, all that. So let's just be honest. So um, now basically the cat's out of the hat. Yeah, they're basically holding money like a bank, basically. That's what, basically what they're looking to do. All right. They are probably cash poor, Mark is saying. Well, listen, the more, more more cash, you know what happens, Mark, is that, you know, I don't want to go on a whole pitch regarding about explaining what happened to financial crisis. Listen, I tell everybody this. You want to see the greatest movie ever? Watch the biggest short regarding about the financial crisis. But at the end of the day, what ends up happening is that these banks were lending more money that they had in, than they had in, in, in their accounts. So I know there was some regulation that came into it. It's like the shorting. You can't let people short stock if you don't have stock in inventory. That's called a short. Uh, that's called a, a naked short. That's something stupid. They should have got rid of that a long time ago. So yeah, I mean, so basically they're probably seeing that there are opportunities to make more money lending money than just you know and getting people open accounts with them than than doing that. I mean, honestly, what the hell they need five dollars for? I mean, seriously, the average trader, online trader, I think I don't even know if you do the statistics. I think it's like maybe two trades a year or a month some ridiculous number like that so what the hell they need the five dollars for they at the end of the day they just want really they want all that we see the ameritrade had all these cm books in their market debt uh brian they, 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 listen a lot of these brokerage firms do not give you direct access for that one reason okay um you know they don't want to. They don't want to give you full access to the market and the market book. So yes, there's a benefit from it and there's a non-benefit. That's why I was telling you when you're a student here at Cybertrain University, and we try to teach you. You know you got to keep your accounts separate. It's not good to have it all under one umbrella. Certain brokerage firms are better than others for certain things. And there you have it. All right. Now regarding about what we're going to be. So anyway, listen. They still look great. I mean, listen, TD Ameritrade, uh, when you're looking at it, this thing still has got some room uh, to take a big hit. But you know what was shocking? Who would ever thought that this stock would would be down literally almost 12, 13 points over 30 percent or whatever it is just on that news? I mean, that's pretty substantial. You know, by the way, let's go look at the Schwab trade. Let's see what happened with Schwab, uh, SCHW. And see how that worked out for them. So not as terrible, you know. It's got some. You can see it's got some nice support levels right around the thirty-five dollar price range. But um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think I don't know. Is TD? I think TD is more powerful than Schwab, honestly, personally. I mean, I think they have more of a recognition owning owning that you know certain platforms. Schwab's just been around forever. You know, it's like basically like a dinosaur, but uh, they got the name. But um. But they don't have the banks like TD Ameritrade does. I mean, it's a big conglomerate. But let's just see what happens. Uh, Fed to dump uh, $75 billion per day into repo markets until October 10th. Really? Well, let's keep an eye on that one. Uh, Jerry just posted a link regarding my TD Ameritrade. Sharp release is less than less on commission revenue. Well, I guess that's basically going to come down to it. So there might be a good opportunity. Let's see if, hey, listen, they're the geniuses. They know what they, they, they think, you know, let's see how they, uh, how it works out for them. But anyway, 
Catastrophe is our opportunity. All I'm saying is, thank God I wasn't long that position, right? Some people like, you know, they own these stocks, the Ameritrade, they, they believe in their company, they bought into it, and they just threw a big wrench smack in the face right in front of them. All right, so anyway, before we go into all these uh, bank stocks, uh, online brokers, let's go check out some of the other ones that are making some moves, something that's more up our alley. Uh, here's the stock TSG. The stock is up humongous, and it's starting to back off. Looks like it's going to become a little bit more of a short. Uh, you can see it tested major resistance levels right around here back in the end of uh, in May. So we got some good orders out there. 4.7 million shares already trading in pre-market. So it looks like we got some great volatility in that one. Another one that um, took a huge hit and it's starting to make a little bit of a comeback, which is what I like bottom fishing, is this X, uh, AXSM. You could see at 2 o'clock it finally made a, uh, made a rebound. It does got resistance levels from yesterday. So it, even though it's up 10%, you see the stock was at 30. Look where the resistance levels are. And, you know, once again, it is a it is a healthcare stock. So, you know, I'm not always a fan of those kind of stocks. So I'll be really careful of those. But, uh, but anyway, that one looks pretty good, uh, what we got going on. Uh, I didn't look at the other bank stocks. We'll come back to them. Uh, I forgot to look at uh, interactive brokers and all those. So anyway, another stock that's taking a very big hit right now, and it looks like it's trying to come back. Listen, when it rains, it pours. My God, $10 stock. Some of you remember the stock. It gapped all the way down, never, ever came back. And uh, it's went to yeah, it went down to a dollar, a whole dollar. I don't know. It looks like it's making a little bit of a comeback right now. Great volume. Not as great as the other stock with, two, you know, this only trade 200,000 shares being down 50%. But this one looks pretty interesting. Well, I'm going to put this on my level four, see what we got going on. I, got, I see some nice support and resistance levels. This stock looks like it's going to probably continue to be a short. Just broke 52-week uh, lows. This one's starting to trend down really nicely. SFIX. Uh, Sketch Fix Incorporated. I don't know what the hell that is. Who cares? Anyway. Looks like a good little opportunity for a short right there. UNFI, another stock that's taking a big hit right here. It looks like it's got some good support levels going back in here in August. So we do definitely have a nice little rally. Um, so we got some support levels right there. You got some nice orders. Got a 1,600 share buyer right now at 826. So we definitely got, you know, nice little downtrend, nice little short. Look for those support levels. And oh, and then all the gold stocks are moving. JNUG, I know, I don't know you guys have mentioned this. JNUG is doing pretty good. All these, uh, all these gold stocks are making a little bit of a comeback. You can see it's basically it's going to be testing yesterday's resistance levels. But yeah, all the all the golds are up. Now regarding about uh, some of the other bank stocks, here is Interactive Brokers. Uh, I mean, they're all going to have to follow suit. All of them. All these online brokers are going to have to follow suit. So. And see what ends up happening and if they want to compete but you know what the funny part is it finally got exposed they don't care about the commissions all they care about is holding your money so they can float it and trade it that's basically what the goal is and you know what that should be a, a wake-up call to every single trader out there right what do i always tell everybody why are we in this business? Why it? Why is you know all these politicians you hear going after? Oh, we're going after Wall Street, this and that, because they know this is where the money is. They're the ones that control the money. This, this is basically you know. Listen, when I when I when I got into this industry, that's what made me you know what made me quit being a landscape architect and, and said, hey, Dad, you know what? I hate that I'm not going to take over the family business, but it looks like a lot of people that you know being here on Wall Street this is where people make money. Why don't I get into uh, learn about finance? He says, son, listen, I'm an immigrant. I don't know. Too much about it. I know how to plant tomatoes. You know, I know how to cut grass. You know, you you go with your hands with design. You know, but if you can find something that doesn't get your hands dirty and make you and make you uh, make you more money, then do it. And you could see why. So anyway, they're being exposed. You could see that. And uh, that's why we're doing it. So listen, if you can't beat them, join them. That's what I always say. Anyway, um, Andre, what's up about TD Ameritrade in Canada, Lita? I don't know. TD in Canada? Listen, they have, I don't know. I mean, listen, you, you, the problem with you, a lot of you in Canadians, you, you know this. You're being monopolized by five banks. You know, it is a, you know, it is a socialist type of a, a economy where they control everything. And uh, it's one of the bad things about competition there. But, I mean, listen. Uh, until you guys can, you know, come and start trading here, 
I mean, I know you have, um, I know you interact with brokers up there in Canada. I mean, it's pretty cheap. I mean, but yeah, I mean, they're going to have to probably follow suit eventually. I don't know. We'll figure, you guys will figure something out. Meantime, let's go sit there and try to make money on it. Listen, we're not going to, let's not cry over $5 or $10 ticket charges. Man, that's the least of our problems, right? TD bought a lot of our banks. They sure did. They sure did. They're buying everybody up. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Sorry I ran a little bit late. And, um, Let's uh, let, let, learn. The trend is our friend, so let's not buck that trend, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And, uh, oh, and don't forget, like I said earlier, Benzinga, today, Wednesday, closing bell. Don't miss this opportunity. We're going to – we're gonna you, everybody that is going to be here, r r logged in on uh, for the event for Benzinga, you guys are going to be able to get a free promotion um, to use the platform, the advanced version of it by attending the event. So – Go out there. He's going to talk about it. This is your opportunity to actually ask questions regarding about the Benzinga. This is an exclusive event that they're doing. They very, very rarely do these, you know, going on to a partner event and answer questions, and uh, which is always great because they're outside their, their realm, so you can kind of be freely to kind of answer those questions. So, guys, do not miss the Benzinga event today after closing bell. All right, guys? So make sure you all register for it. We'll see you all then. In the meantime, be safe. Don't get crazy. Don't try to get too cocky. Make your days pay. You know, today's the first day of the month the way I look at it. And uh, let's because the kid's back to school. So uh, try to be a little careful today. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.